All right. Off a winning week. Let's not waste any time. Here's the Blazing Five. That's a hot one. Let's blaze it up. Fire it up. It's Collins Blazing Five. Eagles at Buccaneers. I'm taking the Eagles, baby, minus one and a half. You can all complain. They have the number two offense in the league, and they just went to New Orleans, loudest place in the league to play, and beat the Saints. Jalen Hurts had 311 yards offense. The offense isn't the problem. They're turning it over too much, but Saquon Barkley leads the NFL in touches, rushing yards, and touchdowns in the NFL. And by the way, they got a defense too. Meanwhile, Tampa, the offense in the last two games, they're a disaster on third down, and they're averaging 13 points a game. And they have 17 players, does Tampa, on the injury list. If the weather's an issue, it helps Philly. Eagles offense is humming. Mike Evans hurt. Chris Godwin hurt. Tristan Wirfs hurt. They're terrible now on third down. Baker's good. He's not great. He can't afford to be missing people. I like the Eagles to win it. 30 to 24. Swallow the points. Rams and Bears. Everybody likes the Bears. I'll take the Rams. Here's why. Chicago's just not well coached offensively. O-line and running back have running back room has regressed badly. Same players. They were ascending players. They've all gone backwards. 31st ranked rushing offense. Literally last week, you're getting all the carries. You're getting none of the yards. The Bears offense is virtually awful at everything. And we liked, we thought the O-line was getting better. We thought the run game would have some potency. This is a coaching quarterback mismatch. The Bears also have 13 players on the injury list as the Rams O-line is getting healthier. I'm going to take the Rams plus three points to win 24 to 20 outright. Commanders and Cardinals. Well, I really like this one. I'm going to take Arizona and swallow the three and a half points there at home. The Cardinals have the best point differential in the NFL for a losing team. Their losses were to the Bills and Lions, Super Bowl level teams. Kyler Murray this season is completing almost 69% of his throws. He's got a star receiver. He's got a star back. He's getting decent protection. Washington, it's called regression of the mean. Jaden Williams is completing 80% of his throws. That's coming down. Jaden, they're the only team without a turnover this season. They're going to have one. This is the time to sell on Washington at least a little bit. They're not going to play perfect offensive football. Never punt or turn the ball over again. Also, Austin Eckler's banged up, so Jaden may not have a star running back. And the commander's defense is arguably the worst in the league. It is atrocious. Arizona is going to eat, swallow the points. I don't even think it'll feel this close. 33-24, Washington offense looks like everybody else's. They'll turn it over, throw in completions, and punt. Bills and Ravens. The wise guys like the Ravens. I like the Ravens. First of all, Buffalo. Again, everybody's on fire. We do this every year. Oh, my God, we love Buffalo. I love Buffalo. But it's a short week, and this is a very big game for Baltimore. They're a toe, a toe late from beating Kansas City. They hammered Dallas. Only team to have top 10 players Two in the top ten in rushing, Lamar and Derrick Henry. They're number one in the league in total offense. They're fine, but but they have a new defensive coordinator, and they're trying to figure that out. But their offense is fantastic. Multiple injuries at linebacker and corner for Buffalo, and the Ravens aren't like the Bills' early opponents. They're going to run the football. They're not perimeter-based. They are run-based. It's at Baltimore. Short week, Buffalo. Wise guys like Baltimore, so do I. 28-24. They win. They cover. Seahawks and Lions. Lions are missing their all-pro center. I'm going to take the points here. Underdogs have done very well this year. I'm going to take Geno Smith, the number one PFF-graded defense, plus three and a half. Detroit's good, but they haven't been great this year. So, and, And here's the thing with the Seahawks. Geno completes passes, and they can run the football. So they're going to play some keep away. We know Detroit's got the best offensive line. But do you know right now Jared Goff has more picks than touchdowns? They are just off, and this defense is sensational in Seattle. I think it's a go down to the end game because because it's in Detroit. I probably think the Lions win, but I'll take the hook. I'll take Seattle. I'll take three and a half. This defense against an offense, whatever the reasons, missing their great center that's not clicking. It's just not quite right. 
I'm going to take the points. So here you go. I like a few favorites this week. Eagle slight favorite, I'll take them. Arizona slight favorite, Raven slight favorite, take them. My two dogs, Rams quarterback coaching advantage over Chicago. Three and a half is too many. When you have a great defense, that hook, you got to take it. Got to take the hook.